Check, check, check. Checking the uh, microphone. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Okay, we got a microphone. We got a microphone in there. Hmm. I think we're about ready to go. I think we're about ready to go. Okay, welcome back everybody to the Johnny Guitar Channel. Today we're playing Fallout 76, doing a bit of live stream, and boy, oh boy, am I excited for this Atlantic City update. Now, I've already been to Atlantic City, doing the expeditions quite a few times, so it seems weird to me that I need to speak to Orlando, but in the last episode, everybody, and check out the Johnny Guitar Channel for that, um... We had um, dropped by the Rose Room, the Russo family, and their daughter is addicted to a very specific chem called Devil's Blood that is found in Atlantic City. So I need to go to Atlantic City, find the Devil's Blood, save her life. Let's let's check this out. Now, um, let me know what you think below in the live stream. Fast Snatch again. So. Thought Fast Natch season was over. Um, yeah, and sorry, my voice is scratchy. I was up late, and it's still a little early for me. But uh, yeah, I do have to go to work later. But I've got about an hour and a half to explore as much as we can from this new update. So pretty excited about that. Okay, so let's go talk to Orlando and see if there's any new dialogue. Because once again, oh, wrong. Once again, I've already spoken with Orlando. Wait, As who are I you? Said, Mrs. Russo, the facilities are available to responders and refugees. I am responding to a need to save an addict from the terrifying consequences of indulgence. I suppose your charity doesn't extend to dirty junkies. Is that it? As it stands, I have no way to verify your story. Had you a prior relationship with us, or the victim was present for our medical staff to... Prior relationship? So this is a refuge ruled by nepotism, is it? Okay, am I gonna need some charisma? My charisma is only at three. So we're just kind of going with whatever gear I have. Um, looks like I've got about a 95 extra carry weight. Good to know. We're going to need food. We are 100% going to need food. Okay. I do have great mentats, but I kind of don't want to use them right now. Do I have anything else that will bump my charisma up to not pathetic? Not really. Got a bunch of Nuka Cola. That's nice, but um, there's a chance that Nuka. Oh, two charisma. Sweet. I deeply apologize for the commotion, darling. We do strive to make every visit to the White Spring a pleasant one. Finally, you've arrived. I was resigned to having to convince this Fifting, how you doing? My daughter is dying all by myself. Do you know this woman? Bifting, is your uh, 76 updated? You are totally welcome to jump in and join along. Um, but, you know. Uh, yeah. No charisma. Yeah, that's... Yeah, no riz. That's the story of my life, right? Um... Ah, wonderful. I believe an apology is an order. <laughs> Apologies are order to those who deserve them. <clears throat> Nonetheless, it behooves the refuge to help those in need. Perhaps you could provide more coherent details regarding this woman's conundrum. 
Hey, Bifting, yeah, I'm doing all right, uh, working a lot, but you know what I've been feeling? Yeah, 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 fair, fair, Bifting, thanks for joining. I've been feeling lately, though, that there's so many good games coming out right now that I feel a little overwhelmed. I feel like there's a lot of games I want to play. Um, and the Johnny Guitar channel kind of reflects that, because you'll see there's just kind of a smattering of different games that I'm playing right now. Um, I guess the games I don't like will slowly disappear. Um, but other than that, I've been working. Spring is coming. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, let me do this. Abby is suffering withdrawals. She needs a dose of a chem called Devil's Blood. Okay. Hmm. We've heard the name. The stories place it as something rather more dangerous than your average chem. The high is legendary, reserved for the upper crust of idiots who live in America's playground and still manage to get bored. It is your daughter we're talking about helping, right? Oh, give Abigail a break. The move has been stressful for her. In that case, you will be happy to hear that the leaders of Atlantic City are sponsoring travel for visitors. You might speak to Mr. Jeremiah Hopkins about it, if you haven't already. He has a booth out in the common area, beside the stage, so long as you're willing to provide assistance to the locals during your travels. You may fly to Atlantic City whenever you'd like. Incredible. Was that so difficult? You're graciously welcome for the flight, Mrs. Russo. Now I'm afraid I have other duties to attend to. Lennox shall be happy to board you once your preparations are complete. Excuse me. It baffles me how you're able to deal with that person. I mean, where are they from? The 17th century? Yeah, can I take her with me as kind of like an NPC companion? That would be amazing. Oh, you were, were you? And what was I supposed to do? Just leave my daughter's fate in the hands of some stranger hundreds of miles away? For all I know, you might throw back the blood at your first opportunity. Then you <laughs> find yourself splayed out naked on the boardwalk two days later choking on your own vomit i suppose the showman would dispose of you before letting you bare your cheeks on their turf and then where would that leave me and abigail um okay you know what that is hilarious because i was planning on taking the devil's blood like the moment the moment i got some hopefully i get two so i can bring one back to abigail but yes Johnny Guitar is definitely taking that chem. Um, anyways, let's head out then. Cool, you can tag along. Wonderful. I'll be having a drink at the bar until our departure. I'll need it to get me through that dreadful flight. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt There we go. I just heard you were going to Atlantic City and I, uh... It's not safe there. There's a monster. I saw it. People keep going missing. That's why I left. You're not mouthing off about some Jersey Devil, are The you? Jersey Devil? What a load of hogwash. I love My parents it. told me that story when I was a child to scare me into submission. Well, it didn't work. And no Jersey Devil has snatched me from my bed. It's real, I swear. Jersey Devil, Devil's Blood. Any connection? They're siphoning its blood and turning it into a drug. Delicious. That's why it's so angry now. Wow. Marketing tactics. What would you name a chem that's supposed to be the ultimate temptation? Would you call it innocent angel milk? Siphoning blood. <laughs> no sensible business person would put in all that effort, even if the Jersey Devil was real. I do really like Fallout's idea of taking cryptids from our world you know mothman jersey devil and kind of 
putting them into um, their Fallout games. Now, the fun thing about the cryptids is sometimes the cryptids were created by the bombs dropping the radiation and all that. And with some other cryptids, it seems like they've always existed within this universe. Um, okay, well, thank you for the warning, but I am super excited to fight me a Jersey Devil. At least I warned you. Better for my conscience. Keep yeah. your eyes on the skies. Oh, does it fly? Okay. Okay, so from here I can just, you know, hit the map button, and I believe I can just go straight to Atlantic City. Yeah. But I do kind of want to talk... I heard about what happened in Morgantown. I know it was way back, but I'm glad they chose to send me somewhere safe. And not somewhere. Now, isn't this a nice vacation, Jeremiah? Okay, what I actually need is... This guy bubbles. Try nuka sherry, grape, or orange. Taking all of your nuka cola, buddy. Five APs one fifty. Okay, there is the guy that she mentioned that will be here who you can talk to about going to. I don't know which direction he is. Where are you? Um, I've already talked to him before, though, so it must not be necessary for me to talk to him. But he's like, oh, let's do it. Let's talk to him for a moment. He's a bit long-winded. Long-winded. You, I trust America's playground has delighted you as much as it delights me. We are offering free travel to America's playground. Atlantic City, New Jersey. A haven of wonder, excitement, and opportunity. Fully governed and, I assure you, safe from the dangers of the outside world. In exchange for your all expenses paid, Flight. All we ask is a little assistance paid back to the locals. Of course. Glad to help out. You let me know if you have any more questions. Curios and curiosity. Comfort, entertainment, and pictures. All right, that was nice. That was nice. I like how it gave me the option of either doing the expedition, which is not as great, or just traveling to the city. Because this is what I've always wanted, everybody. The ability to just wander about Atlantic City. Not on an expedition, but just wandering. Who's that guy? Mob collector? Okay, let's talk to uh, Evelyn. Evelyn, honey? Atlantic City looks like it's a little run down. Did it always smell like this? Yeah, it smells terrible. You would think in a city, people could find a civilized place to relieve themselves. Oh. How old are you? Because your children seem to be fully grown. Um, okay. Where do we get devil's blood, Evelyn? Help me out. The best bet I can give you is a fellow named Stanley Soriano. He spends all his free time at the High Rollers Lounge in the Neapolitan Casino. Stan is a weak link. Make him feel important, and he'll serve up practically anything on a silver platter. Okay, I'll head to the Neapolitan and seek out Stan. Don't wait up for me. Or actually, do. One should always have an escape. Okay, wait, where are you going to be? So, when you come here with the expeditions, there's just enemies 
like wave after wave of enemies. So this is odd to me. You're going to be able to make it? I want to escort her for a little bit. I know it's going to take up some of my precious, precious time. Evelyn, watch out. Let's see what Evelyn does. Evelyn? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Evelyn, you're on your own. Oh god. Okay, this is this is not where Evelyn, this is not working out for me. Okay. Well I think we answered that question. The uh enemies do not care about Evelyn. She is able to just waltz right in here. Okay, you guys got that? Okay, they seem to be pretty good at taking those. Where are you going, Evelyn? You sweet, sweet thing. Whoa. What was the boardwalk? Okay, we have to find out where this goes. And I think when she disappeared into the boardwalk for a moment, it appeared like a weapon had uh, appeared in her hand, like a pipe rifle or something. Oh, this is so lovely. This is freaking amazing. Yeah. So some of you may know if you've been following the channel that I created a character named Wasted Jane. And um, this is definitely where Wasted Jane is going to spend all of her time. Right here on the boardwalk. Food, drinks, looks like music and entertainment. Oh yeah. Okay, sweet, free food. Hey, I need a fat sandwich. What I want to see is if you had a character and you were playing in survival mode, can you survive here in the boardwalk area? Eating, sleeping. Look like a tourist. Yeah, you do. Okay, well you know what, it doesn't matter. We are here to do this other quest. Stay tuned to the Johnny Guitar Channel. We're definitely, definitely going to be coming back to Atlantic City and do more of like a role play with my Wasted Jane character. For now, though, I think we're just, we should just run through this quest line, see what it involves. You dare. Okay. 
Yeah, so when you're playing an expedition, which I don't think I've put any expeditions on the channel. I've done a bunch of them. Um, but when you're doing an expedition, you know, like I said, you can't wander as freely as I'm currently doing. There's always an objective. A lot of times it's a timed object objective. And then um, there's just waves of, never-ending waves of enemies. Okay, let's do this. Stanley Soriano, Devil's Blood. I wonder if you drink the Devil's Blood or you shoot it up or maybe you dry it out and spread it on a mirror and snort it. Um, oh, it could be an inhalant. I'm excited to find out. I kind of hope that it's like just a little, like a shooter, you know, like a little shot of whiskey. Okay, hey, let's do this. A myth around here since they put the Gavon with the belts in charge of the books. You've got all the Vegas you need right here in AC. But this shit... So this city's run by... No, the High Rollers Lounge has an exclusive entry policy. Last I checked, you're not on the list. Mayor Tim fancies himself the leader of AC? <laughs> Don't get any like funny ideas. Whack anybody. Okay, well this is also something I wanted. The ability to come into the casino and not be attacked constantly. This. This is what I wanted, everybody. Find a way into the High Rollers Lounge. Okay, well. So this city's run by a circus. Are you visiting too? Got to the go to High Rollers Lounge. Wins, eh? Well, not tonight it doesn't. I've got my lucky charm. Okay, so I need Charisma 8. It looks like I can get the city? one. You, don't want to be there. Two, that would bring me up to six. Okay, I'm just whatever. I'm just gonna eat my great, great men's hats. I don't know if I will. Well, wait a minute. Oh, minus two. Day tripper. Oh, that'll get me up to nine. Okay, everybody, quick. Day tripper. Lady in the background, please shut up. Nuka Cola Quantum Candy. Potato crisps, just because. Rogers Reserve. What do we got it to? Eight charisma, quick. For any of them, run off. The high or run out. Has an exclusive entry policy. Last night. Um, I need to get in there. You mean to tell me that other guy wasn't Stan Chaperone? You better get in there quick. I think there's a game going on already. Okay, sweet. I was able to do that without using my precious, precious grape mint hats. Okay, cutscene, I'm sure. Royal Flush again? You must have the angels on your side, my friend. You mean you don't see it, Stan? He's playing you. Ain't nobody got that kind of luck. Oh, come on. You know I'd never play you, Stan. You're the man. You know what I love most about you, Stan? How much faith you put in your friends. Oh, this is ludicrous. Oh, now what you gonna do that for? You really think he was playing me? Come on, Stan. Three royal One flesh. around the club is. Now, you grab that cash and take care of your family. I'm headed out. He's worth that slide. You looking at something? How come the muni do so much money? What? You gotta pay the electricity? Account? Always a shame when you think someone's got your back and turns out they're just playing you. But hey, crazy things happen all the time. Just last week, someone was saying they had special chips worth double. 
but they look exactly the same. Now, what was the deal with that, huh? At least put some this gold flex on or something. This is place in AC. Why those munis want to stay in their gross little hovels beyond... You heard of me? Well, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I am Stanley Soriano. Proud father. Handler of official business. An avid patron of this fine establishment. How can I help you? Whoa, there! Now, I can hook you up with all kinds of cats. But as Maybe for the blood, what makes you think a nobody <laughs> like you should get access to Atlantic City's most sought-after cabin? Oh, nice. So I can use my former um, expedition status to um, convince him. Awesome. Or just 5,000 caps, I guess. Hmm. You know, you yeah. do look familiar. You don't happen to be one of those out of towners helping out around here. Well, all right. A friend of the family deserves a taste of the best our city has to offer. Yep. But yep. first, you'll have to prove yourself trustworthy. Provide service for the family, and you'll be rewarded. Cross the family, <laughs> and you end up on our hit list. See? A young showman known as Zaid stole some blood from our stores a few nights back. He's got a show on tonight. And those who don't respect our rules don't get to live freely. You want the blood? Then that show don't go smoothly. And Zaid gets the message to never even dream about stealing from us again. I'm okay, cool. That sounds, um... Great it. Make sure he gets the message. Uh, I'm not supposed to kill him. All right. Um. Now he says that I need to help out the family. I'm pretty sure I've already helped out the mob family, but there might be multiple mob families. I mean, I'm in with Billy Buckles. Okay. Sounds like we have an understanding. Now listen carefully. You're gonna have to get backstage somehow. Maybe by posing as a cast member. That's your best shot at getting access to Zaid. Once you've got an opportunity, it's up to you how you want to deal with him. I'll meet you outside after the show. Don't disappoint me. Capish? Capish. Can't get into the Zaid show. All right. They let you in to see me, did they? Sorry for the confusion. Go for a ripper. Okay, um, I mean, once again, we're going to come back and fully explore everything, but that is not what we're doing today. Oh, yeah. Because I want my character Wasted Jane. Once again, I want to roleplay in Atlantic City, and I'd sure like to have the ability to fully live here in survival mode. Meaning, hopefully, at some point, I can find a bed. Whether I can rent one or just find a smelly mattress on the ground somewhere. And Jane is definitely going to become hooked on the devil's blood because I think that's just cool. Okay, back to the uh, boardwalk. We've got the casino quarter. We've got the boardwalk district. I think there's one more. But I think that you technically see all of these areas while you're doing an expedition. They're just, you know, not full of civilians having fun. Okay, that's not not what I was looking at. To push the limits. Apocalypse out there, paradise in here. Now when you're doing an expedition in this area, you're able to find all of these 
clues that there's a creepy clown serial killer lurking about. But I wonder if those same clues are present when you are just wandering the city. Don't know yet. We'll probably find out though. Okay. Okay, there's two icons here. Perhaps one of them is... Who are you and why are you here? Saltwater Sam. Okay. Okay, so that's his show. I think because... There's a big theater inside of there, but... Oh, now there's only one mark. Okay. What's poppin'? I really wish I could put a couple bottle caps in his tin. That's what's poppin'. Okay, let's get a ticket. Accidentally pressed X too soon. Um, lucky me. I uh, can't wait to see the show. And you will not be disappointed. Please head straight inside to the stage and take care not to enter restricted areas. Uh, we may be a bit late tonight, as we are still awaiting the arrival of one of our cast members. <coughs> Uh, the show simply cannot start without our star clown. Trust me, they are worth the wait. Okay, do I need to go kill a clown and take his outfit? Investigate backstage. I don't know what that means. Okay, perhaps, uh, yeah. I need a clown outfit. So I think I've heard about this particular part of the quest. I'm excited. Because a lot of YouTubers, um, you know, big big guys, big name guys, with lots of uh, subscribers. Anyways, they got early access, which would have been awesome. Damn it, damn it, I need food. In fact, let's look at our perks really quick. Make sure. Okay, first. Oh, I can't do Lone Wanderer. Oh, I'm such a fool. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess Tenderizer is pretty good. Otherwise, I could do Field Surgeon and... How do I only have three Charisma with this character? Oh, I forgot to check on what I wanted to check on, and that was... Yeah, so I have got Rejuvenated, which I think Rejuvenated is an awesome perk, as long as there's plenty of food. Cola Nut is OP, everybody. It really is. I highly recommend Cola Nut. Okay, let's just, let's just investigate backstage. You guys are terrifying. I'm your new best friend. Lucky for me. Lucky for me, I'm a master of 
stealth. Those, I'll take those. Some boiled water. What am I looking at? This? Okay. Note to Dimples. To the silliest of star clowns, I prepared your show show outfit just the way you told me. Don the hat and out of outfit Lady at midnight. This is statue. really hard to read. Do not wash the outfit. Fill the pockets with posies. Okay, I okay, okay. I can't I can't do that. You look great, Johnny. You look, you look amazing. Every and, second without laughter brings us closer to that. Curse, what? Okay, maybe, the, oh, there's a hat. There's a hat, obviously. Okay. Okay, you look great. I like how the people don't even know what their star looks like. You know, like it could be someone with a totally different face and build, but they're like, nope, you must be the star. You're in the dirty, disgusting, pea-stained outfit. Dibbles! Okay, do this. Is that finally you? Late on opening night? Who hired you? Was it me? We'll be served on a plate to the ravenous masses with their vicious, quivering jaws. Oh, get to the stage already! They await your opening act. I'm not ready yet. I, I can't be seen like this. Shit. Kind of want to ask him if he knows Evelyn Russo, but that doesn't seem appropriate. Okay, do I need to go there first? Not just a show, a masterpiece, an indelible memory. Go now before our audience turns rabid. They must be starving. You know, the um, the showmen are interesting and kind of fun. They kind of remind me of some of the raiders in Nuka World. Because um, they're just kind of like creepy and weird. Definitely on chems. Definitely on chems. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Where, where is the stage? And now, for your opening act, please welcome to the stage the funniest, the wackiest, the most diabolical star clown! This zany jokester never shies from a good gag, even at their own expense. But why don't I let them show you what I mean? Wow. 
Okay, juggle grenades through the hoops. I don't, oh, there we go. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it everybody, don't worry. Stop, let's do this, okay. I forgot, I forgot, the audience needs... Right, there we go. Thank you everybody! Dimples the Johnny Guitar Clown will return later. Thank you so much. It's been, it's been great. I wonder if you could roleplay as a member of the showman. I might be good for Wasted Jane for her to role play as a member of this gang. Could be fun. Could be fun. You, Evelyn. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ouch. You followed me, didn't you? You better explain yourself. Okay. Um. A little distracted at the moment. Uh. Look. Anyways. Glad you're here. Maybe we can work together. Help you. I have enough to worry about as it is. You weren't supposed to know about all this, but there's no avoiding it now. I used to be the star around here. I deserve to have it back. That stage oh. is mine. I'm taking it from this up and coming nobody to remind this city exactly what they lost. Or at least that was my plan. You being here really puts a damper on things. Okay, wait, were you planning on killing Dimples the Clown, or... Um, okay, so you also used to be a showman, huh? Interesting. I was the best singer in Atlantic City. Everyone wanted me. Yeah. And the world ended. And everyone changed. Wait, you're talking about pre-war? bitch started feeding them adrenaline in place of talent. I can't compete with a chemical reaction. My only chance to stay relevant was to join them. I became a showman. I put my act on a dangerous high rise. Let people get off thinking they might see me topple to my death. But I have too much to live for. I was on wires the whole time. I fell one day and the jig was up. After that, the showman wanted my head. I need a chance to redeem myself. These people, they used to love me. They just need to be reminded of that. Okay. It, the bombs dropped like 20, 25 years ago. That was so long ago. You need to get over this. You need to get over this. And were your children born before or after the bombs dropped? Anyways, you're not here for Abby, your daughter. You and Vincenzo have that situation handled. This family has never needed me. 
Antonio was always busy, and Abigail followed him like a dog. Vincenzo handled everything around the house, but the crowd. They always loved me. I gave them something. I still have more to give. Okay, I bet you do. Um, what was your plan? Were you gonna, like, kill a guy, or, you know what, never mind. I, I get it. Let's just keep moving. Then you understand why I have to do this. It's my only chance. I'm nothing without it. Okay. This is interesting. Why did you even come here with me? I mean, obviously, yeah. Um... Here we go. I really don't give a damn about all this. I... Just don't get in the way of my job. Oh, you're not, are you? And who are you to make that decision for the both of us? Oh, did I not read that dialogue Is choice? That Evelyn Russo? The disgrace? Oh, oh, Mother has to hear about this. She's gonna send the whole city after you. Wait! Come back here, you pathetic nobody! Shit. I didn't expect them to raise the alarm so soon. Uh, that lady had a cool, like, well, Legend of Zelda outfit. The window. I don't have much time before every showman on the boardwalk is chasing after me with a machete. Before it, though, at machete. least indulge me in what exactly it is you're planning. Okay, you are definitely going to die, Evelyn, and I feel bad for you. Um, anyways, Zade stole the devil's blood from the mafia. If I deliver punishment, they'll give me a dose in return. I got this covered, okay? I've done quests before. So, it's dirty business. Well, nothing new in this city. Now, the final act of this little show involves the star clown. You throwing knives at poor Zade against a decorated backboard. Nice. There's an obvious option there if bloodshed doesn't make you, uh, queasy. But we do know the showmen take cheating very seriously. And it just so happens that Zade wears a protective vest underneath his costume. Okay, okay. Well, um, got it. I can either reveal the vest and get him disgraced. I can just throw the knife right at his face. Um, okay, yeah, you know, I might get him disgraced, okay? Puts a sour taste in my mouth, knowing exactly how that feels. But it's the showmen who are delusional, not Sade and I for valuing our own lives. I'll leave the job to you. I need to scram before yeah. Charlotte's loyal human dogs sniff me out. So Mother Charlotte is interesting. She's obviously the leader of the showmen, but it sounds like after the bombs dropped, um, Mother Charlotte started giving these performers chems, which in turn made them kind of like crazy showmen. Okay, whatever. Anyways, the point is everybody, we're getting more lore here for Atlantic City. This is awesome. I like me some good lore. Okay, everybody. A night of heart-throbbing classics. Where would we be without them? For hundreds of years, art has risked heart and soul life. So I close with one last visceral threat. The curve of blame to never. <laughs> Tantalizing me. Close. Assistant! Master of laughs, let loose, and don't you dare gut me. Okay, cool. Um, how would I expose him by just interacting with him? Walking up to me, but this, but this is murder. Okay, I might just kill you then, buddy. Aim for the torso, reveal the vest. Oh, seriously? Okay, let's reveal the vest. We don't need to kill him. Well, God, I really like killing people in this game. Nope, let's just reveal his vest. This? It isn't at all what it looks like. My, my costume. The, the layers! The... Oh. oh, it's over! Mother! It's over! Where? Where can I hide? Who is that wearing my overall? 
besides shoes! You think just anyone can hawk an <laughs> You made me a punch Oh, line. shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll make you pay with your funny bone. I'll twist your neck like a balloon. Distinguished guests, clowns, and showmen. Okay. Get your ass over here, dimples. Oh, yeah. Who wants to mess with Johnny Guitar? You got a pocket full of Nuka Cola? You guys are not getting me. Come on. Who's after me? Who wants a piece of the Johnny? I'll come up there. I don't care. Come on, dimples. Oh crap. Ah, uh, who else? Who else thinks that they can Okay, you guys are not gonna win this fight. <laughs> Why do they keep exploding? Oh, How was that? So uninspired. Oh god. This guy. He had a freaking missile launcher? Oh my god. Oh no, Bifting, you missed you missed some of um you missed my stage performance as Dimples the Clown. Um, sorry that you missed that, uh, or well, sorry that your power went out. I mean, you know, just in general, that sucks. Um, but luckily, everybody out there, if you missed part of the live stream today, you could always go to the Johnny Guitar channel and um, watch it, you know, catch up, catch up on the live stream. Um, I think we're going to keep going, though. Yeah, I got, I got a little more time before I need to head to work, so let's keep it. And what I'm... What I'm hoping, everybody, see, when you're doing an expedition, if you end the expedition halfway through, you end up losing all your progress. That's kind of the nature of the expeditions. But I'm hoping that I could possibly end my game without finishing this quest. Okay. The shot of Atlantic City sign is the thumbnail. Oh, that is awesome. I like that. Okay. Oh, Stanley. Here you are, I thought. Why are you standing near the woman's bathroom, you absolute pervert? I heard the news. Showman are going to have his head. Probably would have been nicer to cut off a limb or two. As promised. A taste of the devil himself. Mmm, delicious. Don't you go blabbing about where you got it. Stan's got a tight ship to steer. Okay. Um. <sighs> Did someone else steal Devil's Blood recently? A dark-haired woman, perhaps? Oh my god, I'm asking about Abigail. Okay. Now, didn't I just say I got a tight ship to steer? Even if we did have such a dough snooping around the family, who finally got too damn entitled for her own good, I wouldn't tell you nothing about that. Okay, cool. Um, ah, uh, got it. Barking up the wrong tree, buddy. Maybe you are, maybe you are. It's one of Stan's many important duties to keep that information locked tight. Okay, fair enough. See you around, Stanley. Now don't you forget what Stan did for you. Capiche? Capiche. Is that my stomach? I think that's my stomach in the game and my stomach in real life. Oh, look, here's the, um, so one time Bifting and I, who's been commenting, thank you so much, Bifting, one time we came here with our characters during an expedition, so it was kind of tough because we didn't have a lot of time, but here's one of those creepy clown hints. 
there's a hint and there's all sorts of clues around the boardwalk specifically that hint that there's a killer clown those look like real eyeballs he see killer clown and there are more of those i think you know we'll find them all eventually I think I'll head down to the pen. oh and look there's a little killer clown icon yeah I could be a showman. So this city's run by a <clears throat> So, um, let's see here. What I'm thinking is, so it wants us to go back to Appalachia, the Rose Room of the Russo family is now that I have the Jersey Devil Blood. But, why is this... Oh, don't forget the record player. Yeah, I don't remember where that's at. Okay, I guess I'm going to keep wearing the... I'm just confused because I thought that with this DLC you actually do end up... Let's go new. Devil's Blood. There we go. It's a vial. It has no... Okay, well, you drink it. Um, The problem, it... it doesn't seem to give me any anything so I'm probably yeah bifting I think um, it plays like that classic clown tune so there's a little bit of like a music anytime you find one of the um, killer clown clues there's music and then yeah on one of them there's full-on clown laughter Yeah, and I think you stumble upon them, but one of them you need to be able to unlock a door in order to find. And my current character does not have the ability to do that. Okay, so what I'm thinking with this quest is perhaps you pop back and forth between Atlantic City and Appalachia. Because I'm pretty sure at some point I'm supposed to actually fight the Jersey Devil. But instead of fighting the Jersey Devil, it's asking me to go back to Appalachia. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, here is Bifting. Here is the door. If you're able to unlock this door, there is um, a full-on hint. Not even a hint. It's like full-on. There's like a killer clown and there's like stuff written. It's a whole thing. And I think somewhere around here you can find a poster or like a leaflet, a piece of paper, like a newspaper article talking about a killer clown. Okay, well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter for now. We're definitely going to come back here. Bifting, um, at any time you're able to, we can um, always come here and do more exploring without the pressure of a timed expedition. Okay, lady. Can I? Okay, it's fine. Let's go ahead and use the map. Do I just... How do I do this? Okay. I can fast travel to the Rose Room from Atlantic City. Okay. That's not too bad. But yeah, we can come back to Atlantic City with my Wasteland Jane character. And we can explore every little corner and crevasse of that filthy, filthy city. Okay, so we're back here at the Rose Room. Oh yeah, Bifting, I agree. I love all the jazz music that the Atlantic City DLC has added. I just... I love this old-timey jazz music. It is... Just, it's just darling. I love it. Okay. What was that? Okay, I've got the devil's blood. Over oh, Evelyn, you made it back. I wonder what the point of you even going there was. You did nothing to help the quest or story. You kind of just had your own little story arc. Very interesting. I wonder if... I know the story is going to progress, everybody. I know that I've just done a first portion of the story, but are you going to play a bigger role, Evelyn? I don't know. Okay, Vin. Tell me you have the dose. 
Yeah, I got the dose. Isn't it just gonna like make her super high and then she'll become strung out again? You're a lifesaver. Yeah. All right, Abby. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. I want some for myself. Johnny Guitar needs a little bit of that blood. I've got the Jersey Devil on my back. Drink it. Drink it. Oh, that's a lot. I thought it was like a small little shot glass, but that is a lot of blood. And who are you again? Oh, feels nice. Did you drink all of that? Okay. Um, yeah, we gave you another dose to keep you alive, but it's definitely not a permanent solution. Oh. Right. <laughs> Guess I'm in trouble again, huh? <laughs> this is just temporary. We need to find you a real solution. An antidote. You got into this, Abs. Do you know anything about getting off it? Well, maybe Dad would have told me if he hadn't cut me out. Well, that's all water under the bridge, though. Everything's dandy now. We're in West Virginia. It's a new start. No more jobs, no more dad. Everything. Oh, yeah, bifting. Bifting. Um, yeah, just Facebook message me. Everything's good. Facebook yes. message me, man. I um, Bifting is cool. We've made a, a couple videos on the Johnny Guitar channel. Yeah, totally willing to make some I've cool videos. I've tried to get videos. answers from him about all kinds of things. He knows something about devil's blood. It has to still be in there somewhere. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. Look, I know it's awkward, but would you try talking to him? Okay, I will go talk with Antonio, your senile father. Hey, thanks. You saved my sister's life. Mm. Okay, I feel like I've only prolonged her suffering. Okay, is that the first half? That must be the first half. I wonder what Pop knows. Nice, okay, I've got some good plans. Okay, so this must be the next part of the quest where I actually go into the swamps to fight the devil. Cool. Okay, first let's just, I mean, I guess, civil engineer, okay. Armor, civil engineer armor? Oh my god, this is what we need. Okay. Do you guys have Any like songwriters around here? I may be doomed to search my own feelings for inspiration. Right. Okay, I think we're gonna pop back to Johnny Guitar's camp. Um, because it looks like yes, I don't It looks like I don't um, need to redo these like I've already completed the showman quest and now I'm on the honor bound quest So I can kind of log off I can come back in which I appreciate Because uh, you know, I'm a working man. I don't always have like three to four hours to sit down and play these games I play and if you check out the Johnny guitar channel, you'll kind of get a sense of that But I play these games for like an hour at a time Sometimes two hours, but I just you know, I don't have all day Okay, I want to make this spectacular. This is Johnny Guitar's camp, by the way, everybody. I really enjoy this. We created like a... Well, the stage was pre-existing. The stage and these raider guys that are hanging about. I added a couple of the instruments and obviously the uh, no settler wanderer. And sometimes my friends will come by and we'll all grab an instrument and we create like a concert. See? You guys see what I'm talking about? a lot of fun mannequin audience members anyways i was trying to create like a venue i think that was what my thing was like a like a venue as in we've got music we've got nuka shine okay what do i need how do i make armor workbench right here okay yeah yeah we've totally done um Okay, so the civil engineer armor looks like I need more plastic, but it looks like something I wouldn't bother with anyways. What was that called? I think it was called like the Spectacular Performer's Headwear. 
Okay, let's craft this one of those. And then I think the rest of it would be under outfits. You know, the world's kind of amazing. Spectacular performer's outfit. Oh, it's the same one that that one jerkwad was wearing. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We're putting it on. Um, why am I not good at this? Okay. Oh my god. You look great, Johnny. You look, you look amazing. Okay. I think that's going to be it for today. I've got to head out to work in a little bit regardless. But, um, Bifting, thanks for joining me. Um, and then, yeah, I'll check out your, uh, Facebook message. See what kind of ideas you may have. Yeah, let's do something really cool and immersive with Atlantic City. Some sort of, like, role play. I want to make it like a TV. Anyways, I'll talk to you. I'll talk away. Can I, like, I feel like my... There we go. Okay. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching the Johnny Guitar channel. Stay tuned for more Fallout 76. Stay tuned for more Atlantic City. And, um, yeah, Bifting, once again, thanks for joining me, and we will see you guys in the next one.